Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin and IOTA which has been a great coin to be trading. Um, so yeah, let's, let's crack on, let's go straight into Bitcoin here. And I'm going to start off by reviewing what happened last night going into the weekly close briefly. So obviously going into that weekly close, we were first watching the ascending triangle that we had going on. OK, so the ascending triangle with this as the up sloping support line. OK, so let me just draw it out so it's really clear for you a second. Okay, so we were looking at this as the upsloping support, and then we had our clear roof of resistance. Okay, so clear roof of resistance, upward sloping support line. Okay, so that's what we were watching going into the weekly close. And obviously, an ascending triangle is a continuation pattern. So you would expect the pattern to continue to the downside, so a break down below, although it's a bullish pattern uh, and can act as a reversal. It's obviously come here in a downtrend, so a reversal pattern, a triangle, okay? So we then see we you know that did come to light and we did break outside of the triangle okay on a lower term time frame here okay if you zoom into a low term time frame this triangle broke and then got back tested on this candle okay so you broke outside of the ascending triangle you then back tested that um you back tested that um old resistance the old support flipping to resistance and we got another leg down okay and then coming into the hours leading up to the weekly close obviously the price recovered again okay so you're recovering coming into the weekly close the bulls are getting a little bit of strength uh, okay, but just enough to back test that same resistance line. Okay, so this same one that acted as support one, two, three, four, five, six times, then acted as resistance once after you broke out retest, drop, and then th two, three, four, five, six times, and then you get another leg down. Okay. So personally, I would leave this on my chart, okay, because I would want to refer to it again in, in the future. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to remove it to clear up the chart. OK, and what we have now is a perfect, <laughs> another perfect uh, parallel channel to be trading from. OK, and that's where we're just looking really clearly here as our area of support. OK, so we've got our block of support and we've got our block of resistance clear as day. OK, and then we're putting on a parallel channel with on this. OK, I'm just going to remove those blocks. OK, and then you can see the midpoint as well has been perfect. OK, where you've seen the resistance, support, 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 support. And then you've got some consolidation and then coming up to hitting obviously the the what would be the seven five and the two five of the parallel channel. So, yeah, that's been like really perfect now. So I would definitely recommend, you know, to add this onto your chart because it's a um, really nice uh, parallel channel, to be honest. And then you're obviously looking for a larger term. You're seeing the two, three, six as resistance. OK, two, no, actually the three, eight, two, the three, eight, two as resistance. Now, apologies. Let me show you what I mean. OK, so we're seeing the 382 as resistance. OK, you can see really clearly here the price retraces, comes back up, hits the 382, comes back down, forms the floor of the parallel channel, come back in up, testing it. You know, that I'd call just a test your one dollar off test coming down to the midpoint test midpoint seven five bottom. And now we're back in the midpoint of the parallel channel again. OK, so we're really clearly stuck between two major levels. OK, so we're seeing the upward sloping support. OK, looking at this as the, as the overall parallel channel, we're seeing that upward sloping support that flipped into resistance and we got a leg down. OK, so we're seeing major resistance around this whole confluence. OK, we're seeing major resistance on this whole confluence, you know, um, of resistance. And then below, we're seeing major support for holding the higher lows. OK, so we're looking around 4,900 for this major support level. And now price is obviously moving sideways under no surprise, in my opinion, because we are trapped between a major support and a major resistance. So price is going to cool off and come sideways for a bit. OK. And then we're just waiting for the bigger trade, uh, you know, of the break of some of these patterns. OK, so it's it's majorly key that you just um, trade the breaks rather than trading like inside of the patterns, like on the on the uh, when we were trading this ascending triangle or yesterday we were talking about in the average student live stream. Like you don't take a position in inside of the apex of the triangle. We were waiting for the break and obviously you broke down, retested it. And that was the short entry. OK, so you don't trade while you're inside the pattern, essentially. And kind of similar like now, it's just literally sculping from the bottom to the top. And then for a, a more of a medium term position, you want to see. And, and, and you know, once you've closed outside of that, um, outside of that pattern that you are actually trading. OK, so that's Bitcoin on a short term time frame here. Um, you know, midterm, obviously, we're just looking really between, you know, the 382 to 0 0.5 resistance because of this whole box that you have a resistance. And for me, the major support is still 4923. This is on BitMEX. OK. So these are the two major levels that I am uh, uh, watching to be trading from when we obviously come out first of this parallel channel. OK, uh, the altcoin that I want to cover today has been IOTA. 
um, which has just been, I want to show you first the technicals and then I'll go over something else. So for, let me first show you the technicals and this saw a 30% bounce. Okay, so we're seeing a 30% bounce from the technicals alone just technicals okay so what are we looking at here on the daily chart we're looking at the daily chart okay let's just zoom in here so you can see this hopefully you can see this quite well let me zoom in a little bit okay so we're seeing a parallel channel from the old support back on the 15th of march so over a year ago 15th of march support expanded down to this old support that happened on the 22nd of july so support support resistance resistance how perfect is that trend line okay just how perfect is that trend line okay you can clearly see support support re support resistance resistance okay and then that's a parallel that's taken down from this support to this support expanded across what happened to Day. Oh no, this was actually three days ago. Apologies. So three days ago, we saw the support bounce. We saw the support bounce off of this parallel channel support. Okay. So where it had been really nice resistance, it then gave us the perfect opportunity for a, uh, you know, a potential entry off of the support down here as well. Okay. So this is like an, um, another example of a perfect parallel channel. OK, and this was a 30 percent bounce from the bottom. Well, actually, this is just from the entry of the parallel. It's a 30 percent bounce. If you were looking from the wick, although this would have been very hard to get in on. But the, from the wick, it's, a, you know, almost a 40 percent bounce. But from the entry, really, uh, 31 percent bounce. OK, just over. And now what are we looking at? We're seeing this old support old support flips into resistance okay so old support flipping into resistance here and you're getting a pullback okay so now you've got some entries this is like perfect scalping this is literally perfect scalping where you can be entering into shorts from this resistance okay so short from the resistance um Obviously, you'd have to be trading this on BitMEX. Uh, so go 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 over and trade this on BitMEX. But I've been trading this on BitMEX today uh, for, for scalping more shorts. And then, you know, you can scalp longs as well. You know, just scalping in general. Uh, great coin to short because of the added volatility. So that, that, that has just shown you the technicals of why we bounced here. OK, and now I will show you. A, 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 a news story that came out today, which a lot of people will say fueled the, fueled the move up. And, it, you know, I'm not arguing that it didn't, but the technicals were also there for the buy prior. And this is that Jag Jaguar and Land Rover, they are a company that are together. So they are always like sharing buildings, etc. So there's like a partnership. But Jaguar and Land Rover drivers will be allowed to earn IOTA for data sharing. Um, I have no idea of the association between this cryptocurrency and why Jag owners would want to earn IOTA. They probably have no idea what it is. Um, but that's an interesting partnership. Is is it like a worthwhile? Is it worth a 20% increase in price? Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. It does not equal a 20% a increase in price. I mean, 30% over, over three days is an astronomical amount of money to be made. Um, and that is just... In my opinion, it's not worth the pump, and that's why it's it's nice to, um, you know, this is just funny though. This if this news story had come out in two thousand and seventeen, this would have given you like a a a, a two thousand percent pump, and now obviously in two thousand and nineteen, it's given a twenty percent pump. Um, but yeah, it's just interesting. Like I don't really see the association or need for data sharing between IOTA. Why, why would Land Rover drag drivers want to earn IOTA? I have no idea. Um, but obviously they are. There's must be something in there. And now we're clearly just seeing, as, as shown earlier, that old support that we were looking at on the yellow line. So old support comes back down, flips into resistance. You get your move back down and now we're back testing it again. Let me just show you, like, this is obviously the support that you're looking at. Support, lost, read back, tested, okay? And then you saw a move, you know, 20% move to the downside. So if you had played that short from, obviously, from the top here, short, down to the bottom, long, long up to the top again. That's a 25% gain followed by a 30% net gain in, in, in literally like a few weeks. So that's uh, perfect. I like to trade IOTA uh, also on, on um, you know, different exchanges. But uh, yeah, here you have it on Binance. Well, obviously, you can't short. So you wouldn't have been able to take the short uh, on the BTC pair here. But like, obviously, on the USD pair, it's reacting really similarly. It had a, let me just show you. Um, so I trade I out uh, USD uh, to the dollar. OK, so you can obviously see here just showing you the USD chart where this had also been ranging really nicely. So obviously see the range of the top of the range coming up to the testing, more or less the top of the range, not quite reaching there, which is showing weakness coming back down, holding support in the mid range, coming back down, getting a, 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 a fill on the wick of the uh, bottom of the range. And then you're back up to the midpoint. And on the USD chart, that is a 34 percent gain. OK, so, yeah, that's IOTA trading perfectly <laughs> and uh yeah going back to bitcoin we're obviously just watching this and this parallel channel now and trading from this on a shorter term then looking at 2382 to 0.5 midterm for resistance and 4923 as support okay 
Um, so yeah, a bit of a quick video today. I have a question for you all. Um, so obviously I'm getting my new website built at the moment and I've got the web developer working on it right now. And I would just like, um, you know, giving the option to the public of what would you like to see on the cryptocurrency website? So if you would like one page built, because I can basically say to him, build this page and he has to build it because uh, I'm paying him. So yeah, if you would like a page and then I would like go to the comment section and read some ideas and um, yeah, just let me know what would you like to see on a crypto currency website okay and uh yeah i can get this built so uh yeah that, that's just a suggestion that i would like to put out there for everybody uh you can leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see on my new website and uh, yeah we can if, it, if it's a good suggestion we can get it built um so yeah i'm looking forward to that it should be coming in the next few days uh, I, honestly i've put so much time and money into this website it's going to be very very nice for me <laughs> when it's going to be released and nice for everybody else because it's going to be very beneficial um so yeah i'm looking forward to that a lot and uh, yeah, just just trading in general has been a joy uh, as always over the last few days. Well, over the last few months, over the last few years, <laughs> I love trading and it's just really nice when technical analysis plays out like it has. So, um, yeah, if anybody ever says to you technical analysis doesn't work, send them my way and I'll prove them wrong straight away. <laughs> so, yeah, love it. Love trading, love life, and thank you everybody for watching today's video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. A bit of a quicker one, uh, but yeah, there's there's not too an, like an overly amount to cover today, so that's why I'm keeping it short and sweet. Uh, altcoins in general, obviously, there's more. In my opinion, there's been more short opportunities on alts. Uh, if you are on an exchange to short altcoins, then there's definitely been potential to the downside of shorting those altcoins. So you just want to be, you know, a little bit careful as Bitcoin dominance continues to rise. Okay. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, stay tuned for the new website and the new mentorship levels that I am offering. Uh, they're going to be great and I'm sure you are all going to learn a lot. Uh, so yeah, happy trading. Go to make some money and enjoy your day. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>